good day welcome this is your daily med with lady v today we look at exodus chapter 14 verses 1 through 14 our concentration verse today being exodus 14 verse 13 and 14 but for a backdrop to the story i will just read the first 12 verses it says then the lord said to moses tell the people go back to p to pi Arioth. tell them to spend the night between Migdol and the red sea near bial zebron pharaoh will think that the israelites are lost in the desert and that the people will have no place to go. I will make Pharaoh brave, and he will chase you, but I will defeat Pharaoh and his army. This will bring honor to me. Then the people of Egypt will know that I am the Lord, so the Israelites did what he told them. Pharaoh received the report that the Israelites had escaped then when he heard this he and his officials changed their minds about what they had done pharaoh said why did we let the israelites leave why did we let them run away now we have lost our slaves pharaoh prepared his chariot and took his men with him he took 600 of his best men and all his chariots. There was an officer in each chariot. The Israelites were leaving with their arms raised in victory. But the Lord caused Pharaoh, the king of Egypt, to become brave and Pharaoh chased the Israelites. The Egyptians army had many horse soldiers and chariots. They chased the Israelites and caught up with them while they were camped near the Red Sea at Pia Hariath, east of Baal Zepron. When the Israelites saw Pharaoh and his army coming towards them, they were very frightened and cried to the Lord for help they said to moses why did you bring us out of egypt why did you bring us out here in the desert to die we could have died peacefully in egypt there were plenty of graves in egypt we told you this would happen in egypt we said please don't bother us let us stay and serve the egyptians it would have been better for us to stay and be slaves than to come out here and die in the desert. But Moses answered, don't be afraid. Don't run away. Stand where you are and watch the Lord save you today. You will never see these egyptians again you will not have to do anything but stay calm the lord will do the fighting for you and today as we look at verse 13 and verse 14 of exodus chapter 14 we see moses making five predictions he says to God's people, you will see God's salvation. You will see his deliverance. Exodus 14 and verse 13. When? He says, you will see it today, the very day that they were in. He says, the Egyptians whom you now see, you will see them no more alive forever another prediction he made he says the lord will fight for you 
Exodus 14 and verse 14. He says, you will not have to fight. How many times we find ourselves in battle with the enemy. But like Moses says to the people, God would say to us, you do not have to fight. God says he was the one fighting for them. And thank God, as we know, he has never lost a battle. So all the people had to do was to stand still. They wouldn't have to fear because they were commanded not to do so. God has always have to still the fear of men. We see that many times throughout the scriptures where he says, fear not. We also look and we see some commands for man or woman, the child of God, to stand still. So stand still. Moses tell the people, see the salvation of Jehovah. Verse 13 of Exodus 14. He says, stand still and hear what Jehovah will command concerning you. We find that also in Numbers 9 and verse 8. He says, stand still a while that I may show you the word of God. First Samuel 9 and verse 27. The Bible also say, stand still and see the salvation of Jehovah with you. Second Chronicles 26 and verse 17. He says, stand still and consider the wondrous works of God. Job 37 and verse 14. So we have seen throughout scripture where the people of God is being commanded to stand still, leave the situation in the hand of God. Moses himself did not know how God would work the situation out. They were ending as it were. There was no place to go. All Moses knew that God would come through for him and his people regardless. How many times we ourselves find ourselves in these kind of situations that it take only God and God alone and a miracle to get us out of this situation that we are in. So, so it is true with the Israelite. It is still true with us today. So Moses commanded, he says, people of God, fear not. Don't let your heart fail you, but stand still. Look to God. That's what he was actually saying. The God who have brought you thus far, he will take you through. There was no way, but he is the God who makes a way. So he says to them, don't despair. Don't even try to escape. In fact, it is impossible. There is no place for you to go. He says, don't be anxious, don't be impatient. The time has come, you can't go to the right, you can't go to the left, you can't turn around and go back, Pharaoh's army is coming after you. Neither can you go forward because the, guess what, the sea is in front of you. Therefore, it is time to look up. And so he was encouraging them to look to God. I could 
hear the people rehearsing Psalm 46 and verse 1. God is our refuge and strength and ever-present helper in trouble. Then they would go down to Psalm 46 and verse 10 where he says to them, Be still and know that I am your God. Then they remember Isaiah 30 and verse 15. In repentance and rest is our salvation. In quietness and trust is our strength. So their hearts were encouraged to be still before God. As they themselves could rehearse, they would understand stillness is a constant theme. It's a theme in the scripture. So therefore they could rehearse these scriptures. Moses said to them, listen, I am declaring to you that the Egyptians whom you have seen today, you will never see them again. So we look at verse 30 of Exodus 14 and verse 31. It says, so that day the Lord saved the Israelites from the Egyptians. Later the Israelites saw the dead bodies of the Egyptians on the shore of the Red Sea. The Israelites saw the great power of the Lord when he defeated the Egyptians. So the people feared and respected the Lord and they began to trust the Lord and his servant Moses. Today we can trust the Lord. That if he says so in his word, he is going to do it. Moses calmed the fear of the people using the word of God, giving them assurance that God is unchangeable. He is the same God yesterday, today, and forever. The one who brought them out of Egypt, out of the, the, the hand of slavery. And he was well capable and able to take them to safety, to the place that he had promised them. If he has promised you anything, he will do it. So when you are hemmed in like the children of Israel and it seems as if there is no place to go, today you are encouraged to stand still and to see the deliverance that God will bring forth in your situation. God bless you today. Thank you again for watching. And may God bless the United States of America.